Hello, my beautiful collective, and welcome to Oso oh Tarot. So today we're going to be doing um, a general reading for you. We want to see what this full moon in Pisces is bringing to you guys, okay? But, you know, this is a timeless reading. You can watch it at any time. Um, it doesn't just have to be about the full moon, you know, but... Okay, I'm just, I'm doing it on the day of the full moon, okay? So, you know, hopefully we can get some beautiful energies, okay? So, if any of you would like to book a personal, all information on how to do so is in the description box below. Oh, my phone just won't stop going off today. Sorry, one second, guys. It's really irritating me. It's so distracting. Honestly, right. Anyway, maybe that's what's happening with you as well. People just keep, you know. Anyway, um, we're going to do a general reading. Remember, the energies can go vice versa, so just take what resonates, leave the switch agenda, switch the roles, do what you got to do, leave the rest, okay? So, two cards flew out for you guys, okay? We have the Uranian, which reads sapio, creative, spiritual, mindful, truthful, free, and enlightened. Very Piscean card to me. And then we have the Alpha, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Goddess. Gorgeous, okay? God, if you're watching this as well, Alpha male or female, okay? You know, we read for all genders over here, okay? But I feel like, you know, you're about to recognize your inner G, your inner God, your inner goddess. That's about to be recognized. It's about to be shown. It's about to be proven. Okay. I'm hearing sealed, signed, and delivered. So maybe for some of you, you could be um some kind of entrepreneur. Maybe you're packing up things and you're sending them off or somebody's sending something to you or there's going to, it's going to be proof or something. You could be, I just heard ordained. For some of you, you could be receiving some kind of certificate. Okay. But I feel like, you know, you're open-minded, you're free, you want to be who you are, do what you want, love who you are, okay? So this is really, really gorgeous. I feel like this represents all the qualities about you, okay? Or this could be some somebody that you're, like, um, encompassing, okay? But I feel like you're in your true power right now. I mean, like, no one can fuck with me, okay? Not right now. Not on this full moon. <laughs> For some of you, if you're thinking about manifesting, manifest and work with goddesses and gods, okay? Work with that high vibrational energy. But I feel like you are a walking god. You are a walking goddess, okay? I'm getting that people can see your aura. So you may just find that people just keep, you know, they're just acting real, um, I don't know, like people just acting different towards you, but like in a good way, people wanting to serve you, just give you what you want. Things just seem to be real easy, like that easy kind of Piscean energy, just things just seem to be going real easy. It's like, okay, I don't have to stress today. Wow, I had a phone conversation and it went absolutely well. I, I booked a deal, it went well. You know, I signed a contract and it went well. Honestly, I left my house and it went well. <laughs> I had a good day at work, you know. This is beautiful energy. Beautiful. So let's just see. Let's just see, though. Let's just see what's coming out. Okay. There's also like a deity that's around you, some kind of goddess, maybe that you've summoned or that's trying to get your attention. Okay. But a beautiful energy. I'm hearing like a celestial beauty as well. But I feel like someone's just powerful and strong and just striking. Okay. I'm hearing someone is striking. Okay, I've just heard something about lightning as well. So that could be very significant. Oh, so we have soulmate that wanted to come out. Okay, and then explore at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so the universe could be bringing you a soulmate. I feel like for some of you, you are in love with a goddess. You're just like, wow, I can't believe this. Like, I'm so lucky. Okay, this could also be you finding yourself. Like I said, finding your other half. Maybe you've just realized I am my own soulmate. Okay. It's me, because I'm the only person that I know that knows how to love, okay? So it's me. I'm my own soulmate, okay? But I feel like you're reconnecting with yourself. Also, I'm getting that a lot of suitors are coming towards you. I'm also getting a very unlikely couple as well. So someone that you never thought you would be with or never expect to be with or someone that you thought you'd never be attracted to. You could also be from two different places or it could be like an interracial thing, okay? Okay. They look like they're two women. So again, something to do with like same sex relationships or the LGBT community, but that's not for everybody, okay? But I'm getting like, you know, you're falling in love with yourself. But for some of you, this could be a soulmate. It could be someone at a distance from you as well with the explore card. Somebody could be planning a trip to come and see you or something. 
Okay, so we have find an oracle, okay, Piscean cards. Um, literally, it says psychic services, walk, walk ins welcome and open. So for some of you, you could be a spiritual practitioner or you could just be naturally gifted and naturally psychic. Especially if you have significant Piscean placements, I feel like your intuition is going to be heightened at this time or you could just be tapping into that Pisces energy. Look at this, make a wish is at the bottom of the deck. Did I not post today on the community tab Pisces full moon, make a wish. I'm sure I said that. No, I said, be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. Literally. I swear my downloads just be on. Honestly, everything just lines up, people. It just lines up. Okay, so for some of you, you could be wishing for a soulmate. Or maybe you're getting a reading and it's actually coming into fruition. Like, yeah, my soulmate is coming into my life. Then boom, bam, bosh, here they are. Okay, no time wasted, honestly. I feel like for some of you, you could be like thinking about getting some cards or you could be getting a reading done in actual person. Like maybe you've gone past a shop or something like that. I'm seeing like you actually walking in and actually getting a reading done face to face or this is something that you're offering. Okay. You could also be using your cards to bring in something that you really want as well. Okay. So if you have cards and you have decks, you could be like putting this on the altar. Like, okay, I'm gonna put goddess on the altar because you know, that's the vibes I want for today and for the next day and for the days after that okay or you could be putting like you know um creating some kind of mood board or something like that okay but make a wish guys it's especially tonight for the next three nights make a wish oh wait a minute i'm getting too excited <laughs> i'm getting too excited sorry guys one second malfunction malfunction technical malfunction <laughs> ouch i just like pinched myself Okay, the strap pinched me. Anyway, moving on, guys, moving on. So find an oracle. So I'm hearing I just I found you. Oh. And then we have the big picture. Yeah. So for some of you, whatever surroundings are going on right now, you can see the bigger picture. Especially if you have the mind of a Pisces or you're dealing with one, or like I said, this Pisces full moon. They're just very imaginative. Like we could just walk into the room that's like plain and we can already see the development, what it can be, what it can turn into. But other people are just like, oh, I don't know. It's like, what do you mean you don't know? I mean, look at the corners, look at the space. Okay. Look at the ceilings. This can go there. This can go there. Imagine this wall looking like that. Imagine putting the plant there. Like, I feel like you're just visualizing. You're just visualizing. Okay? You just have creative minds. But I feel like you can see what everybody else can't. Everybody sees things dark and gloomy. You can see the color. Now, for some of you, this could be a home as well that you want to renovate. And you know, like, when you buy something that's kind of just, like, run down. Sorry, this always happens, guys. There we go. You know when you buy something that's, like, a bit run down? People don't get the vision. So you'd, someone's like, oh, you know, well, why would you get that house? You know, it's got a lot of work, but I got it for cheap. And I'm creative as fuck, so I know how to renovate it and to make it look good. Don't be upset because you can't see the vision, okay? Honestly. So don't worry about that. You know, you understand. You can see the picture. Just keep doing what you're doing, okay? Gorgeous energy. And then we have seek guidance at the bottom of the deck, okay? So for some of you, you could be seeking guidance because, you know, we have find an oracle and seek guidance here. So this could literally be as well like a mentor or like a therapist or something like that. But you could be going to a psychic. If you are a reader, like I said, people could be booking with you or wanting to get your guidance or telling you how much your readings really um, help them, okay? But I feel like you are very wise. People just talk to you. They may call you up and say, you know, I've got an issue. You may find like, you know what? I'm like always the mediator. Like people are always asking for my advice. I feel like some of you are really wise. But I feel like somebody here is trying to seek guidance in regards to a soulmate situation or in regards to their sexual preference. There's something about a goddess here or someone that's like soulmate related or something like that. Someone is just like, mm, you know, I need help or I need assistance. Again, I feel like there's like a deity or a power, a higher power that's trying to kind of connect with you in some type of way. Trying to kind of like um, give you the answers. So yeah, connect with your energy and you will find the answers, okay? So let's clarify the soulmates. We'll use the goddess deck since the goddess card came out. See what the goddesses have to tell us about that soulmate. Okay, we have creation that wanted to come out, okay? So you're dealing with somebody who's very creative. Again, somebody who's like into astrology or into the signs. I'm seeing that you're seeing a lot of signs. I'm also getting that there's like a lot of different 
zodiacs that are attracted to you but there's only one person that's like made for you or one person that you want or you're creating this okay or like I said, I'm seeing somebody going to like a medium or a psychic or something and they're telling you like, yes, this is your person or this could be you. But I feel like you're conjuring something up. Okay. Also, the person that you're dealing with could be very creative in some type of way. Yeah, magic. You're conjuring something up, honestly. So maybe you're doing that tonight with your rituals. Yeah, we have light. I'm hearing I'm seeing the light. I'm being guided to the light, literally. So, yeah, something is trying to guide you, okay? So, ominous things may happen around you. You may see a lot of signs, symbols, and synchronicities. You also may see a lot of feathers. You may walk in and you're just like, how did a feather get into my house? Or how did a feather get into the hallway? Like, why is there feathers everywhere? You may open the window and you just see a feather floating. That's your guides trying to show you something. Again, if you see a feather floating, watch it and see where it disappears to. One time I, I saw a feather out my window and I watched it and it literally disappeared into thin air. It like disappeared into thin, it was there and then it just evaporated. I was like, goody, 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 gosh, honestly. But anyway, yeah, somebody, someone here is like um a spiritual guide. You know, this could be you. I feel like you don't actually realize how angelic you are. Or like I said, you're being guided to a very powerful person. Okay? Very powerful with the Alpha and the Goddess here. I'm hearing you have no idea. You just don't know. You just don't know the extent of this person's gift. You just don't know who this person is. I feel like someone looks kind of ordinary or a bit unique, a bit out there, but you know, this is the energy that they're carrying, or this is who they are behind closed doors, or that is you, but yeah, I feel like for some of you, if you need to seek guidance, go and get the guidance, go and get the support, but I feel like somebody has become um, enlightened about something, or you will be, okay, so please clarify the um, big picture, we have strength here, yeah, you have a very strong mind, so you're able to see things in a different way, you have the vision, okay it's also going to take a lot of strength to build up on something or to renovate it but keep doing what you're doing okay and then we have wisdom yeah so like i said a lot of downloads okay also check what i think athena is pallas in astrology pallas represents your wisdom your strategy the way that you think so if you can on your zodiac chart find what find out what you have in, in your house of, pa not your house of palace, because palace isn't a house, but it's a, it's a part of the natal chart, okay, like Juno represents, you know, marriage or whatnot, find out what you have in your palace, okay, palace or palace, P-A-L-L-A-S, okay, because that's very important, because it will tell you how you think and how you strategize, like, I have Libra in palace, but, you know, I have Libra everywhere, so it is what it is, okay, but yes, you're very wise, we have resurrection underneath that, okay, so, yeah, I feel like you are coming back. You're coming back stronger, better, because you have more knowledge. You have more experience. I feel like you're being transformed or reborn, okay? Beautiful energy. Or somebody has come into clarity about you, okay? Gorgeous. So, this was coming towards you. Wisdom, strength, galactic knowledge, some of this knowledge you can't share with people because not everybody's going to understand, you know. Not everybody's going to understand. But like I said, some of you are very wise. And it's either that somebody's coming to seek guidance from you or you're seeking guidance. Whether it's from like an actual reader or it's just from a person or it's just from the universe or you're just praying. Somewhere, somehow, somebody is looking for some kind of answers, okay. And you will receive. You will receive. Okay, so let's see. Should we just go straight with the tarot? Let's go straight with the tarot. Okay, so let's clarify the role, role of the soulmate. Because soulmate. I feel like for some of you, you're thinking, do I want to be free or do I want to be with this person? Or Okay, yeah, we have the Hierophant. Okay, so yes, you're trying to seek guidance. This could be to do with a marriage as well or wondering whether or not you want to devote yourself to somebody. This could be a Taurus that you're dealing with. Okay. Because it's almost like you don't believe something with the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. But I feel like for some of you, this is a marriage situation. You just don't know. Like, my partner, Elira, are they sneaky? Or you're just not sure if somebody's supposed to be with you. But I'm, I'm getting that they are. But the Hierophant and the Soulmate, this is someone who you're supposed to marry or be with or spend the rest of your life with. Or this is what 
you're asking about. If you're asking, am I going to get married or am I going to be in a long-term relationship or is this person my soulmate? I'm getting the answer is yes. Yeah. The Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups, woo, could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or a Pisces, okay? So yeah, literally, make a wish. I feel like you're literally, this is you conjuring something up, okay? And underneath that, we have the Three of Cups. It could be a reconciliation as well, okay? But yeah, I'm hearing like to follow the light, follow the torch, She's holding the fire. I feel like as well, two people are coming towards each other. So I feel like you're trying to find guidance. Somebody else is trying to find guidance and then you come together. This could be like friendship. This could be anything, okay? I just feel like you're looking for something and what I'm hearing what you seek, what you're seeking is also seeking you. And what you seek, you shall find. But this could be a new creative idea. This is also a lot of um, downloads from spirit. You're wondering like, how am I thinking about this? Or how did I become so psychic all of a sudden? Or how am I always right? How am I always on point? How am I always on target? It's a gift, okay? Oh, and then we have the King of Cups, okay? So somebody is very emotionally mature here. They have a lot of emotions for you. They're coming towards you, okay? Now, this could be you. You're so in love with something because you just, you have the vision. That's what I'm saying. You're very intuited with the King of Cups. You know, the Cups can represent intuition, creativity, you have like an emotional flair. So you just get things. You're just in tune. You're just in tune. You're just in tune. Okay. Now there could be somebody, if this is a loving situation, that's trying to build up the strength to, you know, express themselves because they're looking at the bigger picture of a situation. Okay. Maybe you're dealing with someone who's very pessimistic or they just, you know, they just turn to just be a Debbie Downer or very negative. So it's like, okay, I've seen the bigger picture now. Like, I understand your vision. I understand what you were trying to create. Okay, I want to commit or I want to move here. I want to, you know. But yeah, the King of Cups nonetheless. So I'm getting a lot of love here. And a lot of creativity, a lot of new ideas. Okay, yeah, we have the Nine of Wands. So the Wounded Warrior here, okay. So yeah, so I feel like somebody's trying seeking guidance about you. Could be a Scorpio, um, Pisces or a Cancer. We've got Fire Signs here, Water Signs here and a Taurus and a Sagittarius. Oh, it's a fire sign, yeah. So fire and water heavy. Then we have the queen of wands underneath. For some of you, you actually may have broken your arm or something like that. Okay. Because this could be like, you know, the hospital. Um, You know, like where you have to, like the waiting room or whatnot. So you could be just waiting to heal. I feel like whoever's working on you or putting a cast on or whatnot, it's like, it's going to heal really quickly is what I'm saying, is what I'm hearing, sorry. Something's going to heal really quickly so you don't have to worry. I feel like you're going to be treated really, really nice as well, okay? Because you're a very powerful person, so you heal quickly. But, you know, underneath that, we do have stuck. So I feel like somebody is feeling really stuck. But I'm getting, I don't feel like this is you, okay? Someone's seeking guidance on how, of how they can get themselves out of a situation. I feel like someone kind of got themselves trapped here. It's almost like, well, how did you even get in the jar? Like, what's what's really happening here? <laughs> someone also could be trying to do jar work on you. Like, putting your name in the jar and it's just backfiring. It's like, somebody's trying to do something and this is how they're ending up. It's like, that's why I say, don't be doing work on people, man. I don't understand why people do that shit. Well, because they like the power. Yeah, but when the power backfires, though, then you want to be like, you know... Talking to spirit and asking for redemption. Idiots. Okay, well, let's just move on. So the nine of wands, I feel like you make someone feel insecure or... But, you know, in the depiction in this, she kind of just looks like she's just wounded. She's just, like, trying to heal, you know. So I feel like someone feels a bit wounded and they're trying to gain some clarity of how to start something new or how to express their emotions or... Okay, because maybe for some of you, you've, you've taken your power back and that goddess energy. You're just like, listen, you know, if you ain't going to treat me like this, I don't give a fuck if you're a friend, a lover, or a person or that I met on the street. No respect, no conversation. So it's almost like someone's like, oh, okay, you know, your words hurt, but, you know, I love you. Yeah, I love you. You're just like, whatever. 
the queen of wands energy here like i'm sexy as fuck i'm gonna do my own thing and fuck you <laughs> not everyone though not everybody's saying that but you know the nine of wands is at the bottom of the deck looking kind of hurt so i don't know it's, it's almost like i don't know what to do i need to seek guidance you know i need to speak to the higher powers the higher hierophant could represent the higher powers as well you know so let's clarify the hierophant Let's see what the hierophant has to say oh the seven of swords wanting to come out again for the hierophant okay so i'm hearing like you know somebody's pledging some kind of allegiance or they're trying to make an oath like not to lie or not to hide things or something has been hidden from you i feel like there's something that you were supposed to be devoted to or something like that it's almost like somebody tried to trick you or you think that someone's a trick or you don't trust the person that you love. So this is why you're trying to seek so much guidance because you just don't know. Like someone has just kind of hurt you too many times with the nine of wands. And like I said, I feel like when you're just on, it's like when you're around someone, you're the nine of wands. But when you're by yourself, you're the queen of wands. And you're just like, you know what I mean? You be putting me like this and I want to be like this. So, you know. Yeah. So I'm getting you could have taken your power back. Yeah, the fool. It's like you want to free yourself. You look how sexy she is. But there's that fox. Do you know what I mean? The fo oh, well, that looks like a dog. But same difference, okay? Same family. The bitches are cousins, okay? But it looks like the same one. It's like, no! It's like he's howling like, no, oh, no, don't be by yourself, no! She's just like, huh, well, you know, you could have had me, but now you can kiss my ass, bitch. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay please clarify the king of cups let's see what the king of cups has to say because i feel like the king of, king of cups is feeling some type of way or well, the nine of wands is feeling some type of way i don't know who's feeling some type of way but somebody's feeling some type of way okay we got the six of swords could be dealing with the um who is this again a, um aquarius so yeah somebody kind of wants to move forward in peace okay again this is you as well moving forward with your plans because this is the bigger picture so it's almost like listen if you guys don't get the bigger picture i'm taking my creativity i'm taking my ideas and i'm off off we go off we go okay but i feel like somebody wants to travel towards you or they want to say something yeah this is what i'm saying look at this the seven of pentacles in this deck looks like the nine of pentacles so the seven of pentacles she's just sitting in her garden just waiting for things to flourish she just looks like she doesn't have a care in the world this person however they just look all lean up and just mash up on this side so i feel like you know taurus energy again i feel like someone's just like you know what i'm patient i'm just embarking in my own energy and somebody else is like okay well you know what um you know how can i talk to you or she's not even looking that way she's like ugh, who are you i'm sorry did, did you say something is somebody there i mean i can't hear you honestly yeah and then now somebody's stressed out with the nine of swords underneath that they're stressed out because you ain't paying them no mind i don't know who this person is in the nines all mash up and haunted and crying or whatnot but i feel like you're doing your own thing you're just like listen <laughs> you didn't want to invest in me <laughs> you didn't want to listen to me <laughs> you wanted to lie to me <laughs> well you know what now bitch i'm a boss and I'm bossy all by myself, my nigga. Honestly. So I feel like you're taking your power back. Look how they're both sitting. Look at the look how they're sitting. Like that's very significant. This could be you at home, just like, well, I was about to do it, but I'm, I don't have any bottoms on, so I can't do that, guys. But do you know what I mean? Just like, you know, it's crossing your legs, like, yeah, did you say something? Or <laughs> oh, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> anyway let's move on <laughs> let's pull some love cards if this is a loving situation yeah because i'm hearing like i don't have time for the bullshit i mean taurus rules time but i just feel like you know well you know patience and that i just feel like yes i ain't got time you could have had the time you know but i mean you wanted to be on some seven of swords shit so i'm on some other shit okay but you know it's almost like I'm seeing somebody coming back with a, their tail between their legs here. Just This could also be somebody just, you know, holding back their feelings. But I don't really feel like that. 
okay but let's just see i feel like someone is stressing over you yes exactly 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 because we have the mind games it says playing hard to get manipulation and confusion this is what i'm saying somebody was all like you know st strategic mind games in and out all about do the cokey cokey and you turn around that's what i'm all about oh okay cokey oh okay cokey someone was playing with you like you're some kind of nursery rhyme put the ball down bitch because i'm not playing your games not no more <laughs> not no more now someone feels like you're hard to get or you're playing hard to get. Like, nobody's playing anything. Honestly. Don't you hate that when people keep saying shit like, oh, stop with the mind games or you're playing games or you're playing hard to get. No, bitch. I'm playing not got, got, get, got nothing. Okay? <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, guys. I just didn't come out right. <laughs> sorry guys but you know what i mean it's like i'm not playing no games man you're playing games you stupid bitch honestly i feel like someone's coming to wisdom about that <laughs> okay guys my apologies at the bottom of the deck we have the cure okay or batteries low the device i just get on with it it says healing strength and weakness and healthy boundaries yeah i feel like for some of you you know it took you all this strength to put up some boundaries or this is what you need to do with somebody it's just like listen you know what i mean you're some some i'm not i don't even play ball how did the ball even get here okay what's really going on some of you could be dealing with somebody who plays basketball they're very athletic but yeah now somebody wants to heal something with you because you are the cure so someone's trying to seek guidance well how do i get the attention of this person or how do i work with them again or how do we make things happen <sighs> Honestly, this keeps coming up in all the readings, guys. Honestly, because, yeah, someone feels stuck. They just feel stuck. And you're just like, oh, well. <laughs> Stop it. Don't get me started again. Don't get me started. It says you need to have more fun and you need to get creative. Yeah. So get creative. Get passionate. Do what you need to do and have fun, guys. And your magic is working. Honestly, that's what I'm saying. I feel like some of you are conjuring something up. Or you need to. <laughs> it's going to work. Somebody also could be conjuring you up as well because that's all they can do. That's all they can do. So maybe somebody can't get through to you. They can't speak to you. Maybe you blocked somebody. I'm hearing block city, bitch. Block, block city, bitch. I don't give a fuck about your ass or your titty, bitch. Block city, bitch. Block, block city, bitch. <laughs> Stop it. Honestly. Someone's trying to ask the divine now. Divine, can you get involved? I feel like the divine's like, listen, we got involved a lot of times okay you was already dealing with a god or a goddess you didn't see it so now i don't know what to tell you <laughs> we have oh so fantastic that wanted to come out yeah and oh so cowardice exactly that's what i was gonna say i feel like someone's a coward they can't approach you or they just can't be honest so i feel like you're living a fantastic life well this is what's coming towards you while somebody can just be a coward and just you know or maybe that's what somebody wants to say to you that they were a coward you know i'm sorry for acting like that i was this i was that i was all of that in a bag of chips and you're just like listen i don't really give a fuck right now i don't give a fuck if you're hurt wounded laying on the street i don't really care it's not for my business because when i was trying to make it my business you were trying to make it something else <laughs> yeah we have the teacher somebody taught someone a lesson <laughs> honestly and then yeah we have the attention seeker now somebody wants your attention oh what can i say i hope you guys enjoyed the reading sorry about the the laughing guys honestly <sighs> if you did let me know in the comment section and i'll see you guys in another video toodles